talk about all the heels that won, by the way, on WrestleMania. Yeah. One was... year, one month, and one day into a pandemic. The biggest show of the year. Happy ending time. Let's put over all the heels. Well, they didn't put over all the heels, but they sure put over an awful lot of them. They did over the weekend, Lance. And I, I think that's why, too, like you preferred night one. Night one had a few baby phases. That's true. Night two had almost all heels. And then the other thing, because, again, I, I tweeted out the uh, list of heel champions coming out of Mania, and it was every single champion in, in WWE. I ignored the 24-7 because I don't keep track and don't care. But Bianca Belair was the only babyface champion on the show, on either show. And uh, I remember Brian Gewertz, and I, I don't know if he was being sarcastic or not. I suspect he was. He responded with, a, well, yes, but with the strong babyface wins on Mania, we've got you know options moving forward. And it's like... The only baby faces on Raw that won at WrestleMania were Braun Strowman and Damian Priest. And both of them lost on the Raw after WrestleMania. And it's like, and again, you know, Dave had his ridiculous comment of, you know, oh, the baby face um, is an antiquated or a dated. And it's like, no, it's not. We need baby faces. We need people we like. We need people we care about. And... I just would have liked, and, and again, you can't put over all the baby faces. And again, I'm a big fan of Bobby Lashley as champ, although I was a big fan of Drew, Drew McIntyre as champ too. But you've got to find that balance and give us some happy moments and and build up, you know, challengers so we don't just have to do rematches and so forth. I, I would have liked some more baby face wins. I like, again, I don't agree with having Damian Priest lose to The Miz in his underwear. I, 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 I I, I, I don't get it. And, and, you know, to move on to, you know, just baby faces, you know. Before the, that, I want to say one thing. So the uh, the losses at WrestleMania. You know how we always complain that uh, every October is going to be Hell in a Cell no matter what? And so whether, whether it's time for a Hell in a Cell match or not, like, that's what it's got to be because it's October and that's Hell in a Cell month. The next pay-per-view is now called WrestleMania Backlash. So clearly, and I know this because I know some finishes were changed, Vince went into Mania, and the day of the show, he decided, fuck, we got to build some stuff up for WrestleMania Backlash. We're going to change some finishes. And if you noted how many heels won, you can guess that these were baby faces that were going to win <laughs> that then did not win, okay? So anyway, the point of all of this is, this may be the new normal if they are going to go with the post-WrestleMania show called WrestleMania Backlash. We got to get heat on these heels at Mania so that at WrestleMania Backlash, we can set up these matches for babyfaces to get revenge. Which, when you think about it, it's like, WrestleMania is the biggest fucking show of the year. Isn't that where all the babyfaces should get their revenge? Why are we having the biggest show of the year, the culmination of the year, but then a show called... WrestleMania Backlash, where you're actually going to pay everything off. But even if they don't, it's... And again, it goes back to Mania 3. I know I've mentioned this on the show ages ago. It was when I first started to understand booking, and it was I was a fan, and I watched WrestleMania 3. And I was, you know, fantasy booking like every, you know, dumb, crazy wrestling mark was. And I'm like, okay, JYD is definitely going to beat Harley Race because you know JYD is the hero. He got he has to get his comeuppance and 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 triumph in the end. And Harley Race beat him. And as a fan, I was like, I can't believe they put Harley Race over. It's like, how does the babyface not get the big win in the end? And then I watched Hulk Hogan retain his championship, and shortly thereafter, I see that Hulk Hogan is wrestling Harley Race, and I realize that. Oh, they needed to build up a challenger for Hulk Hogan. And I understood it, that you have to put, you know, if you have a babyface champion, you have to put some heels over strong so that you have challengers for them. And if you have a babyface or a heel champion, you have to put some baby faces over strong. And it's, I would have liked to have seen a couple of baby faces being built up strong so that for WrestleMania backlash or whenever I've got this super over, you know, strong where again, if Damian priest had just picked up a few more wins and got some more, it's like, I'd be looking forward to seeing Damian priest fight Bobby Lashley. 
but Damian Priest just lost to The Miz in his underwear. It's like, I don't think he can handle Bobby Lashley. And I just wish we'd establish some baby faces and give some baby faces some steam. And obviously a few of them need to lose. I get that. But we need to establish some heroes so that we can be happy and get behind them. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.